a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ well once again this is your christian brother eric Roxon speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea in the western world in the caribbean in trinidad and tobago speaking to you all in the month of in the month of august in the month of august 2020 brothers and sisters i was watching a video a little while ago about my american sister um from the new death experience well i don't believe in that she name is rita and she claimed to be a christian because in the video she was displaying her bible and quoting texts she's saying she had an outer body exper experiment where she went she see the tunnel of light and she see jesus and she was describing all the features of Jesus, whether he was white or brown or whatsoever features. And she didn't see his whole face, was he part of his hair and all these things, brothers and sisters. And, um, yeah, and she's talking about the bright light. Is that is, and thousands of people like that is talking about outer, be, outer body experience. But is these people really having outer body experience where they're going in the unseen world, spirit world, in the spirit realm kingdom, and, and seeing angels and Jesus Christ and the Father, and going in heaven and, see, and seeing the saints of God who they say ascend into heaven? Is these things true? I say these things are not true. Brothers and sisters, beloved in Christ, I beseech you. Listen what your little, little Christian brother have to say. I want to draw some classical examples and lay it on the table for one and all. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for what I'm about to teach you all. And teach you all. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. So, so let me come with this classical example. I hear it Braxton is saying that what they are teaching in these videos about tunnel of light and come out of the body and that and people you have to go through an accident where their bones break up and all kind of thing because a lot of people say they go through accident and all these things the junk and why do people resuscitate in them on the beach it pump out the water then they go into heaven and all these things and the car crash the person get driving and get crash and he badly wounded bones break up he lose an eye he can't get break up and then why is he in that condition he had a body out there body experience is that is this, is that what god is putting through man to, to have a spiritual experience i say no on the contrary i say no on the contrary brothers and sisters i eric braxton do not have to experience none of these things that they say that they're experiencing coming out your body seeing a spirit on the ceiling looking down on your body seeing the surgeon walking on you go through some working on you on the operation table going through turn another light seeing angels going to heaven seeing god at the father when you see that's he and a voice saying me telling me no it's not time for you to stay here it's time for you to go back you have a, a purpose to fulfill and all these things i do have to experience none of that brothers and sisters because i am seeing the white light naturally i am seeing the tunnel naturally and i'm seeing the white light and i'm seeing the brightness naturally what is eric Braxton get into what this little christian boy is really saying to what they are seeing on the other what they are teaching i am teaching something totally different to them you all know what bright light i'm talking to talking about in the night time once i'm going on the road early in the morning the cars with the bright light shining the bright lights that is the white light i'm seeing from the from the brightness of the the bulb in the cars and in the night time the bright white lights of the cars driving in the plane you see in the white lights of course the blue lights and red lights but we do know the white lights the bulbs are, the bulbs are, sh are lighting day and night you see in the white light and the torch light are flashing the torch light the white lights and sometimes when lightning flash you see in the white light so that is a natural occurrence i don't have to go to no no spiritual tunnel to see that and then again i have rocks and i walk down the road i'm going through the natural physical 
tab tunnel that is made out of blocks a part through the tunnel now it may be short from here to there or a little longer uh, that's the tunnel that I'm passing through and the brightness I'm seeing the brightness of the Sun every day right now the brightness of the Sun ah that's the brightness of the light because the light that is coming from the Sun is right in the nighttime when I'm look up oh, I'm confronted with that white light every night the white light of the stars is all oh, they are they're, they're blinking and you see the white lights and then to top it off to top it off on top of this boys and girls ladies and gentlemen throughout the international community who will be fortunate to see this video on the internet and the world wide web I say welcome I'm seeing the bright light of the moon the first quarter of the moon the second quarter the third quarter and in conclusion the bright of the moon the bright the full moon and you see the full moon the bright light you can walk outside and you see it the place clear moonlight that's the white light I'm seeing brothers and sisters so my white light is different to the white light my tunnel is different to their tunnel I'm not going to no spirit world to see these things I am staying right in the natural world and I'm witnessing all that look the bright light of the Sun is shining look right after now the bulb the white light I'm seeing look I go along the road rain is falling the place is dark the car put on the bright lights the bright white lights are coming look I have the torchlight I flash it the white light is coming out of the torchlight look in the nighttime the plane is flying I'm seeing the white light I left out the blue and the red light but the white light I'm confronted that every day day and night I'm confronted with that and all of us are seeing that light I so you see brothers and sisters this but they are not teaching you all that they're talking about the spiritual experience where they're coming out of the body claiming that there is some spirit being and seeing white lights and bright lights and going through tunnel of light and then up in heaven and all these things that's to know that that when they reach there like Jesus Christ free to show himself unto them they see in part I hear part I hear he hide in part I himself God is not that person when everybody appear before God they will see the whole person of God they will see from his feet to his head and from his head to his feet Jesus Christ not hiding no hand from you and seeing part I next hand because the same way we come on the earth and everybody was, everybody was seeing him hold full hundred percent hold from his foot to his crown the same way the angels of the sea, the whole part of God, whether he tall or whether he fat, yes, they could tell you the shape of God, Jesus Christ and the Father, yes, brothers and sisters, yes, my dear brothers and sisters. So, classic example, that is it, that is it, brothers and sisters. And when Jesus Christ come again, everybody will be seeing him. Not part I hear and part I hear. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. brothers and sisters so these claims that they are making can you see some they are contradicting themselves and not even though they are contradicting themselves because they are so eagerly to put out that teaching and that doctrine but they are contradiction in it and they even are they not even aware of it and I'm putting it out to you all so that you all will do a critical post mortem clinical exam clinical examination post-mortem examination but what I'm teaching you all to what I'm pointing out to you all and what the Bible teach and you all will see what I'm saying is true because first we are not no spirit being a nobody to come out of nobody we are flesh and blood thus we are unto dust we return the breath of life in us is just the breath of life the air the wind that do not have a personality or shape and form right is that a force you see the air is that a force and what it's not a personal breathing that I dare air the wind. Right? When you are alive, when God created Adam and Eve, Adam was a dead soul. He cannot move, he had no consciousness. When God breathed the breath of life, which is the air, he become conscious. Now we could see you have awareness. When a breath of life leaves you, which is called the ghost, the spirit. The ghost, not a, not the ghost like the spirit people hunting for ghosts and all. There were spirits, I spirit persons, spirit beings. I'm not dealing with that. The ghost, the breath of life, the air, the wind is called ghost. Also, Abraham died and gave up the ghost. Jeremiah died and gave up the ghost. Isaac died and gave up the ghost. The breath of life, which is also called the spirit. Jesus Christ died on the cross. The boy answered, Father, I commit my spirit into thy hand. Into thy hand is the same breath of life, the ghost. Brothers, and, which is the air, the wind. Brothers and sisters. Right? So we use flesh and blood. But when we die, we lose consciousness. It doesn't know nothing till a resurrection. 
brothers and sisters, according to the book of Ethiopia's estate. Brothers and sisters, the dead doesn't know anything. So how can they claim that when they're dead, they are coming out of the body as some spirit being and see the body on the earth and then 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 when they go to heaven and see Jesus Christ and see the angels and saints of the people who say they say die and the spirit of the which is not true but according to the story that they given out then they come back down in the body and they revive back in the hospital bed and then tell the, the doctors and family and the nurses and the people in the hospital or the friends and colleagues when they come out of the hospital what they have witnessed in heaven and the body ex out of body experience these claims are false these things are not true because in the first place we are not spirit beings brothers and sisters so right there that teaching is contrary to the scriptures and the dead doesn't know anything and then the, the teaching that they are they, they really dead you see so right there is it's not true it's not true brothers and sisters it's not true it's not true but why these people are telling these stories they are alive eh? they have to be alive to tell these stories they are not dead eh? <laughs> can't you see can't you see can't you see the ridiculousness about it and the tomfoolery about it and the ridiculousness and the absurdity about it all these people who claim it to be have it out of body experience you understand it's they, when they come back according when they come back in the body which is not true yeah? but they, they could only tell the story when they're alive and saying about heaven they went to see jesus christ well, why is they alive they tell them that but if but if they're really dead they can't tell that story at all only i figure it out <laughs> can you all see that deception huh? It is a deception. It is a deception. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, all what they say is not true. And they pass on to the spirit world. And they are in the spirit world and in the spirit realm. Uh, across as a spirit being and then they enter back in the body. That is not true at all. The minute this breath of life, breath of life leave you, you are a dead person for nonsense. Burial for you, the grave for you. Or the cremate you, burn you. Except God rhetoric and bring you back alive as you do Lazarus and many other people. If that doesn't happen, you're going to the grave and we find resurrection. That's the fuck of the matter. And that's the fuck about the truth. And that's what the Bible has stated. And that is a record that I'm going with. <laughs> so you see, I deal with the historical record. They are only opening them out and giving you all that talk. But I'm not only giving you all talk, I am giving you all talk facts. The back it up with the historical record, the Holy Bible, my dear brothers and sisters. And if you all read from Genesis to Revelation, you know, Genesis to Malachi, especially in the Psalms, you will see, you see David is saying the Psalms, the dead doesn't know anything. The memory of the dead is forgotten, cease, you become non-functional, which you have no consciousness. You see, all that is in the Psalms. Also in the book of Job, God Job is saying the dead doesn't know anything. Plus, an ethicustiastic that there doesn't know anything. You see? You see? So, so David is saying the same thing. Job is saying the same thing. And all these prophets, men of God, are saying the same thing. Plus, in the New Testament, they show the dead as the dead means sleep. Because when you sleep, you're unconscious. That is unconscious. It doesn't know anything. Because while you sleep on the bed, the bandit come with the gun. And, point, and you even know he pointed pointed me gone there or somebody come in your bed and watching you so a physical human person in the room and you doesn't even know that except you touch or wake you up and you open the doors uh, you see you're not conscious of a lot of things because you're unconscious right so you're unconscious and you even know that but you but you're not dead and you're still alive imagine you're unconscious you're not dead you're sleeping but somebody come and stand up by you watching you and you don't even know that so you tell you that when you're officially dead you will know that person was standing up there you see it doesn't make sense because it is a tongue it is a deception and it's not true brothers and sisters the dead does know anything so all these claims that these people is teaching in the, because in the first place god did not create a spirit beings in the body so in conclusion in this video let me add in this part god did not create a spirit beings in the body 
In, there is no text in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation that say that man is spirit. All the text in the scripture are saying, thus we are and thus we return. He is flesh and blood. The spirit in us is not a spirit being. It's just a life force, the air, the wind. Watch it. You see, it's not a personality. It does not shape and form. It is not a thinking faculty. It's just the in, the where the in, the where the, the air, the wind. You see? You can feel in the air, the wind. It's the same thing. When that come out of you, you give it up, you die. But you become a dead soul. But why do you have the breath of life in you? You are a living soul. God created a dead man, Adam. There was no life in him. There was no breath of life in him. But when God breathed the breath of life in Adam, that lump of flesh on the earth, uh, then he become conscious. He become a living soul. Now he could walk and talk. But when God did not breathe no li life in him, he was stiff on the earth. He cannot walk and talk. You see? So it tell you that you is the person. The breath of life in you is not you. That only dwelling in you to keep you alive. You is this lump of flesh. That's why the Bible says, thus you are, and thus you will return. Because the breath of life is not you. That does go back to the atmosphere. But you go to the grave. Because when they're burying you, they're not burying the breath of life. They're burying that lump of flesh. Ah, it's time you all learn it the hard way. And go and check it out in Genesis. And see how God created man. He did not create us like the angels. Supernatural spirit immortal beings when i get the facts now that is how god created the angel spirit supernatural beings god did not create us out of spirit substance according to the later about w armstrong god created us out of flesh and blood and that is what we are flesh and blood the angels is not that and god is not a fleshly being god is a spirit being that is how god created the angels and even the animals were not created that way. They are created flesh and blood tests as us. Because when they die, they rotten. When we die, we rotten. They had the same breath of life in, like us. Because animals are killed, called souls. Remember what God told Joshua? Go and kill every soul that lived. Man, woman, child, and animals. In the book of Revelation, all the souls that were in the sea die. The animals, they are souls too. You see? Nefesh. So you see? That's the fact. This is the teaching of the Bible. And in conclusion, let me add in this part to conclude this video. Now, now I'm not saying God created us that way, but I'm saying that to contradict what they are saying, teaching that we are spirit beings. Brothers and sisters, if you look on the internet where the paranormal researchers, when they go in the haunted buildings and they say they make in contact with spirits, ghosts, with this spirit box, a lot of this time, these spirits, they take on an apparition and appear to them. But this for a little while and vanish. They are angels. They are, they are the fallen angels. And they can take on an apparition and appear for a little while and then vanish. You see? So some of the researchers does see the fallen angels take on an apparition or a ship, looking like a little boy, a little girl, or a little woman. One old man and they vanish for a little time. Now, if we are spirit beings in our body, if God did create us just as the angels and He put us in our physical and He put us as spirit beings in our physical body, you know what happened when this physical body did? No, this is just an example. God did not create us that way, but I'm using this example to point out what they are teaching us false. So let me go over it one again, once again. In conclusion, if God had created us spirit beings as he created the angels and he put us in a physical body and when the physical body dead, the spirit beings, the spirit being which is you come out of the physical body, the same way how the fallen angels have the ability to take on an operation and appear for a little while and vanish away because they don't stay long in that operation. You the person now who is a spirit being that come out of your physical body when you die, that able to appear back in a fist in a in a operation because you're a spirit being, you're able to appear back in a spirit operation and now come back home to your mother, come back home to your sister, and appear naturally and relating with everybody and everybody seeing you. But is that is that are you seeing that? Is that taking place amongst human beings? The answer is no. So you tell you from, from that teaching, for what I'm teaching you all, God did not create a spirit being and put us in a physical body. So we are not spirit being in a physical body. 
Because if we were if we were spirit beings in a physical body, if God did create us that way, right? And my brother, let me say my friend died. Now he that come back home and visit me in a spirit in a spiritual body. Now he he's a spirit being, he that take on an operation and he that appear before me in my yard or in my house and he that be peering talking to me as naturally and he that remain in that solid operation. Now he had the ability to appear and disappear, but he will remain in that solid operation for a whole five years without disappearing for everybody to see him. And you're not only seeing he in that operation, all the dead people who they bury, they're coming back in spirit beings and going back in all the towns and the village and everybody seeing him and that there'll be unnatural occurrence. But is that happening amongst the human family? Are we seeing that? The answer is no. So right did that teach us? We are not no spirit being in a physical body because God did not create us that way like how we create the angels. You all understand it now? Right. Brothers and sisters. You see? You see? Why is the fallen angels just taking on a little operation for a little 10, a little 5 minutes? No, for a little 3 minutes and the foundation they disappear, we are able to take on an operation longer than them. We are able, we, we are able to take on an operation for a whole 10 years. If God had created a spirit being to come back in his spirit form, take on a solid operation for 20 years. I walking around in my operation, body solid, everybody watching me. I going in the store, buying my food, hi, hi, talking to everybody. Everybody witnessed, because not only me, only people who dead in Trinidad coming back that way. So they're not only seeing me in that way, and that taking place in every country all over the world. But are we seeing that? That is not happening because it's not so. And that will teach us because God did not create us spirit beings and place us in no physical body. That's why you are not witnessing that amongst the human family. You all get the message now? All right, that's the fact about the matter. God created angel spirit beings. He created us flesh and blood. That's why you're not seeing that amongst us. You see? And that is, and I, and I have completed that teaching and concluded on that point, on that note, brothers and sisters. And if you all follow up what I say, those who have a mind of interest, and read what I teach, how I have just explained you by using this example and reading all the texts in the Bible telling us the true state of the dead, that when a person dies, he is unconscious and he has to wait for a resurrection when God will give him back his consciousness in the resurrection. You see, brothers and sisters, why there is a resurrection? Because there is no consciousness in death. That's why there is a resurrection. You see, if there was consciousness, when a person dies, he's conscious. There's no need for a resurrection. You see? There's no consciousness in that. When the wicked die, there's no conscious. He die, he's unconscious. When the, when the righteous man die, he's, he's unconscious. That's like the ungodly man. You see? Both of them is in the same state of unconsciousness. Why be in the same state? Because all of we is human beings. That's how God creates us. Is every practice making up this own philosophy? Is this my own personal philosophy, ideology, or teaching? No, this is the teaching and philosophy of the Bible. This is what the Bible teach, and read it for all yourself in the Psalms, in the Ecclesiastic, in the, in the Book of Job, and in the New Testament. But it, it tell you that death is asleep. You're unconscious. It doesn't know nothing. That's why the Bible said the dead are sleeping in Christ, and Christ will wake them up. And he talked about the ungodly people is also sleeping. God will bring them up in the great right own judgment in the, if you read in the book of Revelation. You see? You see? You see? So I'm stating what the Bible teach, brothers and sisters. But they are teaching a different teaching. They are saying you are you are you are spirit being in a body now. Right? And true and true and he is a spirit being in a body now. And you drive along the road with the car and you get and the next car ram into you. Right? And you get your bone break up and all these things and you're unconscious. But in the state of the unconsciousness, your spirit come out of your body and you went in heaven and you see Jesus Christ and see God the Father. You see the saints, you see the angels. But Jesus Christ tell you, you, can't, you only stay here for a little while. And you're begging Jesus Christ, oh, I don't want to go back to the earth. They have too much suffering down there. Down there, look out here, peaceful and life and tranquility. I want to stay here. But he's telling you, no, no. We're sending you back to earth. 
because there's a purpose for you to complete. And then you, then you find yourself come back in your body and you revise your back. That is not true at all. That is not true at all. Because I told you, we're not spirit being. That spirit in us is the breath of life, the air. When I just told you the wind, it is not a person. You see? You see, you is flesh and blood. That breath of life is not you. Because when you're dead, they bury you. They are buried the breath of life that go back to the atmosphere. Because that breath of life in you is not you. That is that dwelling in you to keep you alive. You see? So try to understand the difference, brothers and sisters. But even a lot of pastors don't understand that what the scriptures teach. They are reading these texts in the scriptures about the spirit in us and thinking it is a spirit being. And seeing man is a spirit being in a body, which is not true. God did not create us like the angels, brothers and sisters. So you see, I want you all to I want to let you all know that. I want you all to let you all know that, brothers and sisters, in Christ and also the body of Christ. I want you all to know that, brothers and sisters. So so this video that I was really watching with my dear American sister Rita. She belongs to some church and they teach these things. I want you to know Rita and all others like you who in the near death experience community who to believe in out of body experience and you all are having near death experience. I want to let you all know that what all what you all are teaching and seeing is total false and you all cannot back it up by the words of God, the Holy Scriptures. The text that you all are quoting in the scriptures, you all are quoting text, but you all misunderstanding the text and not applying it in the right perspective. My brothers and sisters, that's the fuck about the matter. That's the fuck about the matter. That's the fuck of the matter. These videos is not a, I am not recording these videos for the purpose to attack, to attack those in the, the in the in the near death near that experience community they are my brothers and sisters i love them but they but they but they what they are teaching is wrong so this is not to attack them this is not attack them but for them to recognize what i'm teaching them is the truth and that they will make a conservative effort right 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 and humble themselves and make a conservative effort to take up the bible the word of god and and, and examine the critical facts that is on that is, that is at hand. Looking at Genesis in the first place, how, create, how God created man. So they will know the sack, how, how God actually created man. Not a spirit being, but flesh and blood. And the breath of life he put in man is just a life force in you. But you is flesh and blood, none of spirit beings in our in, in body. And they have to start from there. And read all the other texts that support Genesis. Then they will really know how God created man. And the, how, what they are teaching, that man is a spirit in being in the body. God did not create man that way like the angels. The angels are spirit beings. We are not spirit beings. Right? 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 So I'm sending them home to do the homework. In the Bible, the words of God. They have to start from Genesis. So they will know the true makeup of man. How God created man. Because how they're, how they're describing me as a spirit being in the body, God did not create us that way. And they had to go to Genesis to find out that. The first book of these scriptures. But are they willing to humble themselves? To take up the Bible and blow the dust off of it and read it for themselves? And all the other passage that is co that is relationship to these texts? I pray and I hope that they do this. When they read this Bible, when they, when they see this video on the internet and the World Wide Web. So I pray that all of them will humble themselves. In spite of what all other people from the East, West, North and South have told them, they will humble themselves and listen to what Eric Parkson, this little Christian boy in the Western world, in Trinidad and Tobago, have to say to one and all, to all and sundry, through the international community, and to all those who embrace that teaching. So, on that note, brothers and sisters, there's much for you to say, but you know my videos are short. I do not go, I do not really um, record, um, 
for our video mostly my initial um, length of time is, is maybe 10 but you see I go into 20 and 30 these days it's half an hour so in conclusion I read my 30 minutes mark so so I just pray and I hope that you all will do the research and make a conservative effort on all the part and read what the Bible really say about the state of the dead about the resurrection about consciousness the dead is no nothing and all these things right and the true makeup of man and the breath of life in the body and that man is flesh and blood does he unto does return and man is not no spirit being the angels is spirit beings god did not create us that way neither did he create the animals that way spirit beings neither because the animals are no spirit beings and the animal had do not have no spirit soul in the body when the animal die, there's flesh and blood, they're rotten, that's us, us, and the spirit go back to God. Go down to the earth, it go back to the earth, because the earth is the Lord and the fullness of God created the earth. To say the spirit of man go upwards, which is breath of life. Simple means go back in the breath of, to the atmosphere. It still go back to the hands of God, because the atmosphere God created. So it still go back to the hands of God. You see, brothers and sisters, there's no contradiction. You see? So, so I just pray that you all... Um, Follow through on my recommendation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video. So, bye bye, my friends.